Tell them. Tell them why you're here. Say, tell them what you're going to do. Change the world. I mean, a lot of you have seen this through Facebook. A lot of you have seen this through word of mouth. We're all here again, as Patrick said, as Laura was mentioning, to try to respectfully come together and find out how to talk about common solutions and how to take direct action. What this is about is about the democratic process here in the United States. For example, you get to vote here, and you, people assume that that is a privilege to vote for the same group of people every single four years. It's the same people. It's the same pot. We all know why we get to this point. And I think it's time that this stop and those that did all these things that we know they did start to face the consequences. Woo! Okay, now's the time for us, okay, to help these kids not to have to put up and be where we're at today. All right, so the guys with the gray in your beard and we're losing our hair and we're kind of getting older, it's time for you guys to talk to your friends and get their asses out here with these kids. So we can fix this shit for them. Gandhi said that the worst form of violence is poverty. And he also said that we must become the change we want to see. So that's Ooh. why I'm here for change. They think that we're trying to push a communist agenda, a socialist agenda. And honestly speaking, that is the furthest from the truth. By reverse mortgages, they've already stripped the property that would be given to us by our grandparents and inflated our um, tuition costs are going to make it impossible to pay back. I'm here because I'm pissed off, because I'm a single parent, I have three teenagers, I'm in student debt, loan debt, that I can't even begin to pay off, and I'd like to see a better, I'd be, like to see changes, so they could go to college, you know? We need a better future for our kids. That's why I'm here. I mean, it's the people that's controlling these banks. Once we control these banks and get rid of these bank, this banking system, people, then we'll be able to breathe. All the kids that's in debt, that money is created out of thin air, people out of thin air until we understand that the money system is bogus, is bullshit, we're going to always stay in this situation. You have to understand we are the same species. We are the same people living on this planet that gets fucked every day. That, that we have, I, I'm living in a house where I can't pay any of my bills. I'm living basically off my boyfriend. I have a child I'm about to bring into this world. I don't know what the hell to do and I don't know where to look for help. And like, it's this system that has to be overcome. We have a, a, a gap between the rich and poor that keeps growing. By 2040, it's going to be the same as the gap in Mexico. I mean, I mean, we, we have to fight back, we have to organize, and we have to have very clear demands. We want an end to police brutality. We also talked a lot about education and how education is not fulfilling what we think should be taught. That our value systems have to include everybody and everyone in the benefit, no matter what we think about other people and their habits. Learn to support your local business. Instead of shopping over at a large supermarket, go to the smaller ones. Go to the farmer's market. I did say that we need to be um, campaigning for better public transportation. We need bike lanes. We want us to reinvest into clean energy sources for public transportation. Basically, the fact that uh, we don't have control over our lives. This is supposedly a democracy, but in all situations, uh, we really don't have this control. Governments are taking away people's right to grow their own food. They're taking away our ability to sustain ourselves. Not only our economic sustainability, but our food sustainability. This country was built on the backs of farmers. What are you thinking? We talked about a lot of issues that are destroying South Florida locally. We talked about the overdevelopment, especially the overdevelopment coupled with mass foreclosures and buildings being closed out. Uh, some of us identify that we have to get rid of certain politicians like Rick Scott. Here Rick Scott is running a campaign, a war on the workers of this state, on our public workers, on our policemen, on our teachers, on our hospital workers. We want an end to the war on workers. We don't want any more layoffs. Governor Rick Scott took $2 billion out of the education budget, but he added $300 million to the governor's office budget. We talked about Bank of America with the debit cards and charging us $5 a month. Should I'll send the debit cards back? Because we don't want to deal with that. Uh... We don't want corporate money. Corporations are not people. Corporations are not people. This one thing to say revolution. Revolution take down the system, but what are we going to put in it? So that's why we're here, to establish a real and tangible goal. So I have only one thing to say to the politicians that would take away our rights, to the electoral system that empowers the privileged. Uh, we 
you're all one, no matter what you think. Instead of separation of church and state, we should have separation of state and corporation. I really like the smell of protest in the morning. We want to catch up with a global revolution. It is going on around the world. Now it's going on around the country. Now it's coming in Miami. And we're going to occupy until we take back our democracy. Hey, man. This is my daughter. And this is what I'm fighting for. Why my name is Taylor. Tell them why you're here. Say, tell them what you're going to do. Change the world.